To eat is to survive. But even more so in the life of the domestic pet, food is the greatest motivator and equalizer. As seen in the kitchen region, pets will exercise every talent in their arsenal to get fed, whether they need it or not. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and all the treats in between are the perfect moments to observe the many eloquent eating techniques and behaviors of the common pet in our domestic world. The nocturnally active homebound kitty waits for the morning sun. She has been running around the house all night wreaking havoc and her energy stores have been all but used up. Feeding time is imminent and the cacophony of complaint will begin soon if the kibble bowl is not filled within the hour. Her phenomenal sense of smell directs exactly to the bin. Her ability to quickly pick up on the feeding schedule gives her the powers of manipulation. If the human beings of the domicile are unable to develop a foolproof system for checking insatiable hunger, the cleverest of beasts also become the chubbiest. Cats may appear to be the supremely intelligent deceivers when it comes to extra feedings, but the seemingly innocent beggar-dogger chomper should also not be trusted. The constant monitoring of the animal's food supply can become exhausting to guard if structure is not enforced. And as always, the heart must be guarded against painfully cute puppy eyes. To creatures like the nibbling Snooterinus, the thrill of the hunt pales in comparison to the sensory enjoyment of the food itself. Emotions run high when the total gratification of comfort meals is denied. Yet the rare granting of a caloric indulgence is much more appreciated if unable to be savored due to the speed of consumption. When food is your driving force, your absolute motivator, the biggest source of contentment, hardly anything could be distracting enough to pull focus from a tantalizing smell. Without parallel intervention, pets would gorge themselves without stopping. Because these animals are of the domestic variety, their natural hunting skills are limited. Instead, the pet battles mom and dad for control over their diet, which if given, could be disastrous. <laughs> Nothing is harmful in moderation, so extreme weight gain can be avoided if treats are not the sole nourishment of the pet. These stretches of healthy meals may be punctuated with, for example, a little piece of salami as a treat. The most desired of delicacies is the rare morsel dropped from a human plate. Nonverbal and universal communication conveys the most desperate of emotions, bored hunger. The delicate balance of nutrition is maintained by calories going in and calories being burned. So, when snacking frequencies are increased due to, say, a global pandemic quarantining everyone to their homes, take an extra lap around the house. Now is an especially important vacuum in learning more about the most unique and curious eating behaviors on our domestic world. <laughs>